One of the basic hitches when using synthetic webbing or round slings is the choker hitch. The choker hitch is formed when one leg of the sling connects back to itself. A synthetic webbing or round sling choker hitch has approximately 80% of the capacity of the straight leg vertical hitch. This capacity assumes that the angle of choke is at least 120 degrees. Some standards, such as API RP2D offshore environments, require slings of all types when used in a choker hitch application to have a capacity of no more than 70% of the straight leg vertical hitch. The sling's capacity is reduced further if the angle of choke is less than 120 degrees. In fact, if the sling is bent back over itself, with the angle of its choke approaching zero degrees, the sling's capacity would be reduced by 50%. A single leg choker hitch is easy and convenient to use and can work well on simple, short loads but it does not always provide the load control and grip needed for safe and effective rigging. Sometimes multiple leg slings choked on both ends of the load are required to gain the load control necessary. If choker hitches are used, the user must always ensure that the slings cannot slip or slide along the load. It is important to note that a standard choker hitch does not provide a full 360 degree contact with the load. A double wrap choker hitch is better for handling those hard to handle loads and bundles of materials like rods or pipe that require more sling contact to hold them in place. Make sure the slings do not overlap at the bottom of the load when you form the double wrap choker. As a final note, the user should always make sure that all synthetic slings are protected from edges, corners, protrusions, or abrasive surfaces in order to protect the sling from any damage.